Welcome back to Simplifying Synthesis. In this video, we are going to look at the total synthesis of ibogamine. This work was published by Alexander Hughes and Stephen Townsend in Orglet in their paper Gram Scale Total Synthesis of Ibogamine. Ibogamine is an indole alkaloid isolated from the African shrub Tabernanthe iboga. This shrub is a source of many psychoactive compounds, and both the enantiomers of ibogamine have been shown to reduce the rate of self administration of cocaine and morphine in rats, suggesting that they may have use in controlling addiction and reducing withdrawal symptoms. This activity is similar to the more common ibogaine, also isolated from this plant. However, ibogaine can have very serious side effects, while ibogamine is much better tolerated. The most characteristic structural feature of the iboga alkaloids is the central seven-membered azepine ring, which is fused to both an indole system and a bicyclic isoquinucleidine core. To construct this azepine ring, the authors plans to use three different carbon-nitrogen bond-forming reactions. These include a Friedel-Crafts reaction, a Fukuyama-Mitsunobu reaction, and an intermolecular SN2 substitution. So let's take a look at how this synthesis was completed. The synthesis began with the protection of a cyclic enone bearing a pendant primary alcohol. This was then subject to a stork danheiser transposition. Ethyl Grignard first undergoes a 1-2 addition into the ketone, and the resulting alkoxide is protonated twice by hydrochloric acid, forming water as a leaving group. The protonation promotes an elimination reaction, where the double bond of the enol ether migrates and a ketone is formed upon the elimination of isobutyl chloride. The TBS group was also lost during this reaction, and the product was formed in an 84% yield. This deprotected alcohol could then take part in a Fukuyama Mitsunobu coupling. Dyad is first attacked by triphenylphosphine, and the resulting anion can then deprotonate the nozzle protected amine. The nozzle protecting group consists of nitrosulfonamide, and this is very important for this reaction, as it is very electron withdrawing and this increases the acidity of the NH proton. Without increasing the acidity of this proton, amines cannot take part in a Mitsunobu reaction. Together with this deprotonation, the triphenylphosphonium moiety is attacked by the hydroxyl group, and this eliminates the reduced dyad byproduct to form the activated oxygen species. The negatively charged nitrogen can then attack this centre, eliminating triphenylphosphine oxide to form the nitrogen-carbon bond in an 83% yield. In the next step, the researchers carried out a loose reduction. Cerium trichloride first coordinates to the ketone, and this increases the electrophilicity, allowing sodium borohydride to attack at the carbonyl center. It is this coordination that provides the selectivity for reduction at the carbonyl center, in preference to the reduction of the alkene. This reduction was not stereospecific, however this was unimportant, as the hydroxyl group will be eliminated at a later step. In order to facilitate this elimination, it was first acetylated using acetic anhydride and DMAP with 96% yield over two steps. Reacting this with magnesium perchlorate and CSA activates the acetate group, allowing it to be eliminated, forming a stabilised allylic cation. This cation could then undergo an intramolecular Friedel-Crafts reaction. The addition of the two position of the indole ring to this cation formed an aminium intermediate that rapidly loses a proton to restore aromaticity and formed the macrocyclic ring in a 49% yield. The remaining alkene was then subject to a hydroboration oxidation sequence. Borane dimethyl sulfide undergoes a concerted addition to this alkene, preferentially adding from the bottom face of the ring, with the boron adding to the less sterically hindered side of the alkene. Reacting this adduct with sodium hydroxide and hydrogen peroxide allows the peroxide to attack the boron centre, forming a negatively charged borane intermediate that undergoes a rearrangement, forming a carbon oxygen bond and eliminating hydroxide. This hydroxide can then come back and attack the boron, eliminating the alkoxide that is then protonated upon workup to form the hydroxylated compound in a 96% yield. To make this hydroxyl group into a good leaving group, it was mesylated using mesyl chloride and DMA, and then the nozzle group was deprotected using thioglycolic acid and DBU. The sulfur adds to the electron-deficient aromatic ring and the negatively charged intermediate 
then decomposes to restore aromaticity with the elimination of SO2 and the negatively charged nitrogen species. This then undergoes an intramolecular SN2 addition, displacing the mesyl group and forming ibogamine in a 77% yield over two steps. If you enjoyed learning about this chemical synthesis and want to explore another free and easy way to learn, consider checking out the sponsor of this video, Brilliant. Brilliant is a website and app that offers a wide range of courses across science, maths and engineering. There are courses that will interest everyone as the lessons are at a broad range of levels, from the very basics of chemical kinetics to more advanced topics such as how to use computational biology to predict biomolecular folding. Recently, I've been using Brilliant to expand my skill set and learn more about computational biology. It is a subject that I've always been curious about, and Brilliant provides an easy-to-use platform that allows me to do bite-sized lessons at any time to gain an in-depth knowledge of the topic. To try everything that Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, please visit brilliant.org slash simplifying synthesis. The first 200 viewers to sign up will get a 20% discount off Brilliant's premium annual subscription. So head on over to brilliant.org slash simplifying synthesis to check it out.